All right, I'd like to provide you with a solution to the part B of the last problem on your exam, which happens to be problem 2.220, part B in your textbook. So you're given that A, B, and X are n by n, and that A, B, and X are and A minus A, X are invertible matrices. And so you're asked to solve for X. And so the expression that you start with is A minus A, X inverse is equal to x inverse b. And so we have to solve for x and if we have to invert something that's not already told to be invertible then we have to give an explanation as to why. So certainly um, we know that a, b, x and a minus a, x are invertible. So if I like I could take the inverse of both sides of this expression and I get a minus a, x on the left is equal to, and then inverting the product reverses the order, so that'd be b inverse times x. All right, so now I have a minus ax equals b inverse times x. So I'm trying to solve for x, so I'm going to collect the terms together with the x, and so I'm going to get a is equal to b inverse x plus ax or this is equal to B inverse, say A, B inverse X. Sorry, I'm going to factor out the X here. B inverse plus A quantity times X. So we've got A is equal to B inverse plus A the quantity times x. Okay, so in order to finish this, I need to be able to take the inverse of this expression right here. But right now, I'm not sure that I can do that because there's nothing that says that the sum of two invertible matrices is invertible. Um, and I don't know for sure that it's invertible, but I can depend on one thing. Um, I do know that this x is invertible. And I know that A is invertible. And so if I know A is invertible, there's got to be an A inverse. Right? And A inverse has to be equal to B inverse plus A times X all inverted. So how can I convince myself that B inverse plus A is invertible? Well, if I were to take this expression right here and solve for X, then it's got to be having an inverse as well. So that would be um, So actually I want to take another direction here. I'm going to look up here again and I'm going to see that A times X inverse is equal to B inverse plus A. And so notice that this B inverse plus A is a product of invertible matrices, right? And so if we have a product of invertible matrices, we know from our theorem that the matrix has to be invertible because if A and X inverse are invertible, then B inverse plus A inverse must be equal to X A inverse. So this proves that the B inverse plus A is invertible. And so I can finish now by saying that A times B, oops, right on the wrong side here. Let's get that right. B inverse plus A inverse times A must be equal to X because I've shown that this matrix actually is invertible, right? And then I have 